सो एल एवरी वन होप यूर ऑल डूइंग गुड तो इन दिस वीडियो वॉट वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इज इफ यू आर न्यू टू Figma or maybe UI UX. So how you can start learning about the visual design or how you can learn to use the Figma. Uh, what I am going to share with you is what I have done for myself. It can be like you have some other process of learning it. If you are learning from it, the process is good. It's nothing like this is wrong and this is right. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So right now you don't have any project or any problem. so how you are going to design it so what i'll do is just a very simple thing i'll google one uh, design from pen interest okay so i'll just go on the pen interest and search for ui ux let's take a website okay or you can also take an application screen so i'll take one website a very simple one it should not be very difficult or have lot of things there we'll take a very simple website so i'll look for something so let's see this one we don't have much thing it's just a very small uh, tablet screen and we will try to redesign it using figma okay so what i'll do is i'll just save this image demo okay So my next step will be I'll go on the Figma and I'll try to insert this image. So how you can insert that image in this Figma one? So all you have to do is, if you are using Mac, you go on your Downloads, right? Wherever you have uh, just uh, saved it, you just have to drag and drop here. Okay. Now this image is pre is present here. Okay. Now it's here. Okay. So I got this image. Now what I'll do is, I'll try to replicate this same screen using Figma. So, like you can, you might be asking like, "Bhaiya, what I'll get using this?" Okay, what I'll be learning from this if I replicate it? So, when you replicate it, I, as I said, you don't have any problem or anything to design. You just have to replicate it. When you replicate it, you'll get to know. Okay, if I have to. draw a rectangle or if i uh, or if i have to create a button or i have to create an image or maybe insert an image so how i am going to do it using the figma so you will take a small small steps to learn that bigger thing it's not going like you on the first day you will start designing the whole website right so what i'll do is i'll take a our first step should be screen the frame okay so this is the frame this is the just the outer which the image has given this is the main frame okay the one this if you are seeing this this white one so i'll one first i need a frame so how i can make a frame so if you go here right so you can see this is the frame section slice right or you can use the shortcut key f so i just click f and i just get one screen like this now i want to have that this frame like a tablet one okay So I'll go here and I select iPad Pro 11. So this is the vertical one. I'll click here. It will give me the horizontal one. Okay. So now I get the frame of a tablet. Now here I'll design this same screen. You can also like uh, increase the size of this frame, decrease whatever you want to do. You can do it. So let's keep it like this. Now, for uh, my first step was to get a frame, which I got. Now the second thing is, I'll observe it. Okay, let's observe first, and then we will design. Okay, so let's see. We have from the top, we have one this text, then we have this S. It can also be a logo, right? You might be thinking it is a logo or anything, but let's say this. I'll just so first one is we have this uh, text. We have three text here which can also be like different pages like how it works librarian pricing you might have seen in some website we have home about us contact us etc etc so i think in a very layman this is the same thing now we see here we have one login right so in this we have one this is we can say button kind of a thing and one text Okay, so what we have analyzed from till here is that we have one, two, three, four, five, five text, and when we have this button with um, with the border as circle, and 
in that same we have one text so we'll try to create this first okay let's take one thing at a time okay but before that have you noticed that we have this screen the tablet screen and that in that we have one this rectangular the big rectangle which is some of background color as gray and above that we have this text okay so we might need one rectangle so we might need one rectangle above which we will place all those text and buttons this image and everything so let us first make one more rectangle i'll just shift this to here so i need a rectangle okay do you know that you can also change the color of this background background is like let me show you how if i do this the color of this changes okay so i was getting confused because of the white so i just change it now i need one rectangle so you can use the shortcut key or you can also use from here so we have rectangle line arrow ellipse so i'll just click r and i get a rectangle so this is my rectangle i'll just increase the size of it now you can also see that we have this rectangle as circle circular rectangle right so you can also increase the value from here then also you can make that rectangle circle or you can see that there's a point here if you click on it and then drag it down it makes it circular so see now you might be seeing that this is this rectangle is now circular its corners are circular circular now okay now we can see uh, let's let's just make it size similar on every side one okay you can also change the color of it like as you want to but i'll let's keep this only right now i'll just make it a one this a bigger one okay so as i said that we have three text and we have one this button and this soundtrack i'll first create these three text and that is how it works library and pricing so we have same a shortcut that is called the t i'll click on the t and here i get so i light it how it works right now you can see that you can't see these text even i can't see these text okay so i'll just select this and i'll make this size of this as 40 okay right now i'm not thinking about the design system and everything it just i am putting it as it looks good to me okay so it's still not visible right and in here you can also even see but here we can't right so you if you want you can increase the size if you don't want let's keep it this only so let's keep make it 16 and i'll increase the size so it will so now again we need three text right so what i will do is instead of creating one more text you can do in the same way or you can just click on it click option and you just drag so you'll get a copy of it so by clicking on option you can make a copy of anything it can be a rectangle or it can be a text or it can be circle anything right so i'll make it three uh, two more one more sorry so okay one was how it works one was library and pricing okay so i'll change this text to sorry guys i just got into cold and bit of a nosy so okay this is pricing so right now i'm just trying to replicate it to uh i'll make it uh, okay so right now it looks good to me like we have done what we wanted to now let's make this button how you can make it okay so here you will get to learn two things one how to make a rectangle how to have a text inside that rectangle and how to make that both thing as a one component or one group uh, let's first create one rectangle and one text okay so same i'll use the shortcut key r i'll make here and then i'll make it circle because as you see that it was a circle right so you can just increase by clicking you can use those fingers to make it large okay so you can see like how i'm making it so okay right now i got this button but that button was in white color so i'll make it white now i need a text i click on t and got it okay i'll click i'll write login okay i'll adjust its size right now you don't have to think about this you can also make it center or like whatever you want okay so 
so how you can make it center like i click on this rectangle and i click on shift and then this text so if i click on this okay so it will align this text horizontally with respect to this button or the rectangle that we have now i have selected these both the things and you can also see here that login and rectangle these both are in blue it means these both are selected at this point of time now i'll click command plus g so it will group into a one component now this will be treated as a one thing when if you move this uh, uh, button you will also moving the text now this is called a one group now this is an one group okay can you see this screen um, login button yes we can see but if we see here that the this text is a slightly bold and green in color okay so how i can change the color and this um, font style so if you see here in the text we have this enter regular and click on the regular you'll see a lot of options semi bold bold extra bold so whatever you need you can just select on it i'll try to make it semi bold and now i want to change the color of it to green right now it's black and red if i move this cursor to this side i'll get the colors in green then select select this darker green so you can see now this is in green color you can also change the color of this okay so i click on this this and this by clicking on shift button you can select all these three text okay now i want to change the color of all these ones that in at once right so i'll just click on the colors and now the you can see that color of all these three text is green it might be like it might be that it's not visible to you but it's actually green in color okay dark green okay now one you might be thinking that this is not aligned i'll try to align it with the text one okay so now you can see that this is aligned now same we have to create this text as well and this one circle and s in that circle okay so i'll click o so o is a shortcut key for creating a circle so i created a circle i'll fill this with the color green you can also use the code if you have the code code is the color so if you can if you see here we have the color code for this green 294422 right so if you have the code of the colors you can also use it and now i'll create a text so i'll create a text here and i'll put here s i'll click shift it might not be visible okay and i'll try to increase the size to 20 no 36 yeah so i'll just um, align it a little bit to this with respect to this circle so if you can see it's very large as compared to what we have here you can also select these two things by clicking on this was okay by clicking on this shift s now command z now it will be treated as one thing i'll make it is small we need one more text i'll click on the t i'll get sound track okay i'll adjust it a little bit i'll choose the color also you can choose the color by this you can say tropical like kind of a thing when you click on this and if you choose any color on this screen it will assign that color to that particular thing that you have selected so if i click on this color it has made the color of this circle to this text okay so now we got this right so we what we learned here is how to make a text and how you can make a button now we'll see how we can make a search bar okay you can also like if you see here we have this screen uh, sorry we have this text here so you can like now you know how to make a text right so you can definitely try this how to make a text this also you can try let's try to make this one okay how i can make this one so let's observe this first what we have with here we can see we have one search tab of a tab bar of a thing with white color and some circular borders 
then inside that we have two text your email address and then the email address then we have another we can say uh, same thing but in a smaller size but it's inside that search bar so you can call it a nesting kind of a thing right so let's do this so i'll come here so it's not not some another shape or anything it's just what we already have you can create anything by rectangle i feel rectangle is one of the most used uh, shapes in uh, figma so i made one rectangle right so as i said we have to make it circular i click and i just drag it now i have to make it in a white color we got this now we need one more same thing click on the rectangle we'll drag here we we'll click on this corners and we got it right i'll change the color of it to something right now i'm randomly putting this random color okay now we need text i click on the text i click here i'll put it here get started right now this text is very large i'll make it okay now in the center okay now we need two text that was your email address and one was the actual email address okay so <coughs> same text we'll put here I'll write your email address now what here i am going to show you is about the obesity so what is obesity let's say that this is although you can use the another color but because i want to tell you about the obesity feature of the figma um, i'll do this okay so i i have selected this text and i you can see the text color is black right now and its obesity is 100% what if i make it 50% right so obesity is like how darker or lighter you want to show something so right now i want to show this particular text in a very lighter way and that is 50% so you can also manage the color by changing the obesity of that particular color or anything right so we will have this obesity in many things even when you are feeling the color in a circle or in a rectangle then also you can change the obesity of that color okay so right now we have this your email address one more thing that i want to tell you about is uh, i think you might it might be understood to you that we need to make it a group if we want to move this whole thing right so select everything this text this rectangle this rectangle this text and make and we'll click command plus g to make it in a group so right now we can see this is your email address what i want to show you is you can change this text to another text font type right so we have a lot of things here you just have to see what is good and needed for your website okay so right now if i use this curly one right it's so it's do, it doesn't looks good right here because it's an official website if you're trying to create some come some kind of a funky funny or a or a very childhood kind of a thing then we can use it but right now i think we need to use some official one right so enter is something that we can always go for but let's go for this here it just looks good to me so uh i'll just select here i need to yeah i'll just make it okay i need one more text so there's two thing either click the t and get the another text or you can just option it and then copy it and then the change the content of it so i'll just do um very random one mm, yeah let's align this let's now uh, as I said that if you want to make move this whole thing you need to make make it as a group right so right now so what would if I would have done it firstly I would have grouped these two things into one and then these things into one and like include all those things in that one so firstly I'll select this get started text and then shift I'll select this as well and then command plus C so now this is treated as a group okay now I'll select this one you can also see like here we have this group one you can also change the name of this group I'll just say get started button and it's very good practice 
to have the naming convention because it will be easy for you to identify which thing is meant for what right so i'll select this i'll select this text shift this text as well and then i'll select this rectangle so you can see this text these two text and this get started button is selected okay i'll click command plus c oh now where's the bad button gone so let's see where is this button we have this group we have this text text rectangle but this get started button is under this particular we can say this under this group 3 also okay let's put it as a search tab bar or let let's uh, email one take email tab bar email tab bar okay so this text is under this i want to include in that and at the top okay so what i can do is i can just make it and drag it inside this group now you can see it okay so everything was in this figma only nothing is gone it's just it was just hidden under another component okay so if you see we have done these things these things okay now we can say that we have this image here okay how you can include this image firstly though you need to have an image with no background right because you can see that this has no background the background is basically this this color the color of this rectangle so if you have that color it's good if you don't have then you need to find one and then you can just as i said drag and drop and insert it and then position it so this is all for today that how to create a group how to create a rectangle how you can make a text inside the rectangle now you can look for something that you want to create it's not necessary to have one website and then applicate it or do the same thing you can also just as i said just just pick one image download it put it in the figma and then just start replicating it. and you get to learn a lot of things and one more thing that figma is a tool that helps to build a ui ux design it is definitely not all ui ux design okay so ui ux design is a different subject and figma is a it's just a tool to accomplish your goal or you can say the design so i'll end this video here so till then so i'll end this video here so till then bye bye take care keep smiling and let me in the comments key and let me in the comments if you get anything out of this video and if you have any doubts put in the comments i'll try to answer it so bye bye take care keep smiling